Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the FSS Football channel and today's match preview for the Leeds United versus Manchester United game. Now of course Leeds United drew 1-0 in their last game against Liverpool and they beat Manchester City 2-1 in the game before that. So they come into this game in great form. Of course our boys Manchester United, we beat Burnley 3-1 in our last game. So we equally come into this game with good form. Of course our last game against Leeds United was that 6-2 demolition job at the start of the season with Scott McTomney having probably his best game ever in a Manchester United shirt, scoring twice in the space of the opening three minutes. Weren't a bad start to that game, was it? Look, it's six two fat at us. We weren't a six two game. I think we were the better team. We did did deserve to win it, but maybe six two was a bit flattering. I, I expect us to have a fairly similar game, but I expect Leeds United to be much better. As I said, they beat Man City, they drew to Liverpool. They are much better against these top sides than they were at the start of the season. I think it'll be interesting to see how they come into this game and how they approach this game, knowing how easily we dismantled them last time out. If we're looking at the team news, Leeds United look pretty okay. Rafinha looks like the he is out, so that's obviously going to be a big miss for them. As is Captain Liam Cooper and sub striker Rodrigo, they're all missing. However, Manchester United are in a fairly similar position. We have Anthony Martial, of course, out. With his knee injury. Phil Jones is of course still out. But no one cares about Phil Jones. And Marcus Rashford hasn't been in training. But they are hopeful that he will be available for this game. So he is a little bit of a doubt. But I expect him to play. Because that's just what happens with him. Eric Bailly has been back in training. So he is in contention for today's game. However I don't imagine he will play. He'll probably be on the bench though. With that all being said. This is the team I would start if I was going to Solskjaer in this game. So in goal, I've gone for David De Gea. I thought Dean Henderson had a really, really, really bad game last time out against Burnley. I thought he was all over the shop. He was flapping at things. He, he was just too eager. And I think I think it, it might be a little bit too much for him at the moment. So just take him back out. That put David De Gea back in goal. Our first, our, for me, our best goalkeeper. For me, who should be our first choice goalkeeper. And just bring a bit more calm and composure to that back line. I will then go for a back foot of Wan-Bissaka, Axel Twanzebi, Maguire and Luke Shaw. Shaw and Wan-Bissaka, they're our best fullbacks. Play him. Maguire, captain, he always plays, so he has to play. And I'll go with Twanzebi, I think. Look, Lindelof probably still does have his back injury. He's going to play against Roma midweek. So there is no harm at all. It's just giving Twanzebi the, the game. Because I thought... When he has played, he's played well. In the double pivot, I would then go for Matic and Paul Pogba. I think this is probably our best double pivot. If, especially if we can get Matic back to his best. I think Pogba from that deeper role is so creative and allows us to look more dangerous. I think if he is going to play deeper, I do want to see Donny van der Beek playing off the left or the right. Or Bruno playing off one of the, the flanks as well. Simply because I think we need more creativity in that front line. We don't create chances for our number nine unless Paul Pogba's on the wing. Unless a Van der Beek or a Bruno's on the wing. And I, I think it's too attacking when you have Greenwood on the right, Rashford out of the left and Cavani up top. So I would go for Donny van der Beek out on the left if Pogba's playing in central midfield. I'd be more than happy to swap him around and put Donny van der Beek in the pivot and Pogba out wide. But for now... I've gone for Donny van der Beek out on the left. Bruno at 10. And I've gone for Mason Greenwood out on the right. If Rashford hasn't been training, don't play him. I think Greenwood is in very, very good form. Let him keep playing. Let us see more and more and more of what this, this kid is all about. And how good he really is. So I would go for Greenwood out on the right. And obviously Edison Cavani up top. He's in good form, scoring goals. Because we're creating him chances now. And that's the difference. That's what I've been saying all year long. Put someone... On the wing that can create. Martial's had nothing all season. Greenwood hasn't. And Cavani hasn't. All season long. Them three have had no service whatsoever. As soon as we start putting a Pogba on the right. A Donny van der Beek out on the right. We start, our striker starts scoring more goals. It's no coincidence. It's the fact now we're creating chances for our striker. And of course they will score more goals. However, this is how I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will go. I think he will stick with Dean Henderson. I think he's proven... That Dean Henderson is his new number one. And look, you can't you can't really argue with it. I think I think Dean Henderson has shown he's not as good. I think Burnley he had a real shocker. And just what I what I think is that at the start of the season, I think we all we all accepted De Gea's number one still. But if he makes a mistake or has a shocker, 
That's when Dean Henderson gets his chance to come in. De Gea hasn't had that shocker. Dean Henderson has had that shocker. So for me, David De Gea should be in back and go. But I think he will go with Dean Henderson. I think he will, will go with our normal back four of Wan-Bissaka, Lindelof, Maguire and Shaw. Just what he always goes with, isn't it? I think we'll see McTominay and Fred in the double pivot. I think he just likes that double pivot. It gives him more protection defensively. And I think he does love McTominay. I think, especially considering McTominay scored two goals last time we played Leeds, I think he will go with McTominay again. And in the front line, that, that leaves, I think he could put Rashford out onto the right. He could be on the left, but I've put him on the right. Um, Pogba, like I say, will then take the other flank. Bruno will play at 10. Cavani will be up top. Look, that, that team, either way, should be more than enough to beat this Leeds side. Regardless of how good they are, that team is very, very good. And if we are really as good as we make out we are, that team should be enough. Anyway, uh, just a little bit about the game and this Leeds United side. Like I said, they're a very, very good Leeds side. We know they can beat us if we don't take this game seriously. They're a fantastic side. Like I said, they drew with Liverpool in their last game. And they could have won that game, really. And they beat Manchester City two weeks ago, 2-1. This game is there for the taking. Because I think we are better than Leeds. And I think we've shown that. And I think how they play kind of falls into our own hands. But... At the same time, they can easily beat us. I think we are in good form, and I think we are a team that look. If we go on a run, we 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 go on a run. And I think we are on that sort of that sort of run now, where we're winning games, and we are now starting to make it look more convincing. Beating Spurs three one, beating Burnley three one. That's something we weren't doing at the start of the season. If you think about, it, we beat Aston Villa only two one. Last minute, they could have equalised. We're we're now making it three one. We we we're putting that two goal advantage in the way. So if we do concede late. We are we are safe. I think we will do that again today. But I don't think we will concede, regardless of what goalkeeper we go with. I would, like I said, I would go with David De Gea. But if we go with Dean Henderson, I have equal doubt that we will concede. And I don't think that will be the case. I'm going for a three 0 Manchester United win. Anyway, that's going to be it from me today. If you have enjoyed, please do hit that like button below. Subscribe if you are new and you haven't already. That would be greatly appreciated. The watch long details are on my side. Get down below in the comments and let me know your predictions for this game. And of course, hashtag Glazers out. I'll see you in the next one in a bit. Peace.